Hi again. Well, we were about to bag it on the Frog Sounds QRP. Um, as you know, I've been working already trying to make this thing receive for a while. I tried the external amp. That was a fail due to a chip installed backwards. So this time around, we're back to the stock audio. And I'm trying to drive, or I was trying to drive, this old... Um, let's see if I can zoom back. Um, not really. We'll move this out of the way. So we had this an old Cambridge Soundworks non-amplified speaker that was part of a PC set. I have that hooked up to the Frog Sounds right now, and uh, you probably can't even hear any sound out of it. So that's why I was about to give up. So what I've done next is I've tried two things. One of them is this little billboard speaker I bought for $15 at the drugstore. It's a Bluetooth speaker, but if you plug in headphone jack cable the Bluetooth doesn't activate it just runs directly as an amplified speaker so turns out now the, the frog sounds isn't that bad you can actually turn up the volume and I can tune around and hear stations So as you can see, it's pretty broad, but you could probably make a contact with that. And as I said, I haven't yet installed this audio inductor, and I haven't installed this uh, transmit switch for the mute. So I'll do that next. Now that there's actually signals coming through it, we'll give this thing a whiz. Oh, a little more tuning just to give you an idea of how it sounds here. So I think you could copy that in a pinch. Not bad CW. By the way, this is a 40 meter dipole just laying on my roof right now with a little MFJ tuner. So it's not an elaborate antenna, but it is a real 40 meter antenna. So with that, we'll move on to adding that um, audio choke or audio inductor to get that series inductance filter going. And uh, who knows, maybe this thing will get on the air yet. Thanks for watching, see ya.